All right, boys and girls, had to push it outside to see what it looks like. It's been a while, but the top is mounted. It's the first time outside with the top being mounted. Decided to throw the seat covers on this one seat to kind of see how the plaid will look. I think it looks pretty good against the orange. Camera probably doesn't show it up pretty well, but take my word for it, it looks good. Got the turbos all on here. I was going to make the flange for the exhaust, but I found out there's some place in Georgia, race something equipment, specialty equipment or something like that, that makes a flange for it for like $10. So, you know, better than wasting my time. So I'll just, I bought that and I got some reducers coming to go from three inch to two and two inch for the, um, glass packs there but it clears the tire it's a little closer on this side but it's got plenty of clearance I get my knuckle through there no problem was able to angle the discharge down and that clears the wastegate so I'll just put a U like a J or something in there to come back up to the carburetor got plenty of body clearance Got my support bracket in there. I was going to put another one over here, but now I'm kind of questioning where I'm going to put it because I need to be able to get the valve cover out. The one in the back is kind of limiting the space. You can't drop it all the way out the bottom, so it needs to come out this way. So I might end up just putting a brace here or something like that. I might do something with the exhaust and bolt it to something else. I don't know yet. So I want to get the exhaust all the way on there the mufflers and everything before I make a decision on that if you're wondering ever how much clearance there is between a doghouse fan shroud and a Myers body I'm gonna let's brighten up a little bit here there's quite a bit of clearance so if you ever wanted to use a type 4 fan oil cooler in there you can there's no problem there there's gonna be there's probably about at the very top two and a half inches to the doghouse and at the bottom because this back piece is a little slanted probably at least three so just that's some info I was wondering that when I was building mine nobody had any good pictures but I think they tuck under there pretty well they are offset a little bit because the cylinders are offset I didn't do any math this is all by eye okay so not like I sat there take measures and measured out anything this is all by eye and where pieces land and where the turbo would fit well um, they should be about level I think the one on the passenger side is a little higher to tell you the honest truth but that might be the only piece I'll actually put I may make a little jig and hold the um, glass packs at a certain level and that way when I weld all that on there they look level but it's coming out pretty good um, I am going to coat the exhaust housings on the turbo with the same ceramic coating or whatever I'm going to do on the headers and all that so it all blends in together uh, let's see that's about it boys and girls I haven't made a lot of progress this time but it is getting there this is what it looks like from this side that discharge will clear everything it's just looks like it's going up to the package tray but it's actually clearing it I think it looks pretty cool though looks pretty good you know hopefully we'll have it on the road by the end of the year <laughs> Still got to build the whole motor. This is just mocked up just so I could do the header. I started thinking oh, I should do all that before I start Getting the motor all done. So now I need to build the exhaust out and next I'll probably start building the um, Charge piping going from the turbos to the carburetors Because I want to make that out of steel also so I might as well get that done While I'm still welding on everything. So anyways boys and girls don't forget to like and subscribe get out there get your projects done and I'll see you later